What's up, everybody? It's Wake Angel 2001, and let's get into another r slash Wake Angel 2001 video. Uh, up first is this post by Studio Mammoth, who made his own pair of Sonic shoes. Gotta say, I think they look pretty darn fantastic. Uh, apparently, he got them from Shen. I don't know who Shen is. It's uh, S H I E N. I don't know if that's a store or somebody he knows. Uh, then he includes the second pick of an older pair. Uh, which still looks pretty good, although the first pair does look more breathable. It actually looks very much like the shoes that I wear now, except mine don't have a white stripe down the middle. And of course they have laces, because I just cannot find good sneakers without laces around where I live. Uh, but yeah, these totally look like the kind of shoes that Sonic would wear. Um, <clears throat> well, the, yeah, the, the, uh, the first ones did. Uh, the second ones, they look a little bit too low top. Like, Sonic always said that his shoes are high tops. You know, because, like, those are the kinds of shoes you can run in and not have to worry about them slipping off your heel, you know? So I always figured, like, um, like the this first picture is something that would actually work better for a pair of Sonic shoes. Just put on a nice big pair of socks over them, and there you go. Up next is a post that I made myself. Um, this is a new meme that I made uh, based off of an idle thought that I had a couple of days ago at work. I was thinking, huh... Wait a minute, Crazy Carl from the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was calling him the Blue Devil, and his crudely drawn sketch looked like that Sonic meme. But if he's calling Sonic the Blue Devil, wouldn't putting Sonic EXE on that paper be a better a, a better version of that? Because, like, you know, the Devil, because Sonic EXE is supposed to be like some kind of demon thing. And then I came to the shocked realization that I was actually wanting a reference to Sonic EXE. And I died a little bit inside. So, of course, uh, I put up a blank version of the meme in case anybody else wanted to tackle it. And almost right away, Sparkle Wolf came in with, um, with, uh, with uh, their own version of the meme. Uh, so apparently, Sparkle Wolf had gone through a lot of effort to sculpt toes onto a He-Man figure for that barefooted look. Only for Mattel to eventually come out with a barefooted He-Man figure. I also kind of love the way that Orko is just kind of floating around at crotch level, like, like, hey man, wash your loincloth more often, I can smell that from here. And, uh, yeah, my, my work was in vain. Yeah, like, I really hate it when that happens, when you go through all the effort to make a custom of something, and then they go ahead and make an official toy of it, and like, ah, I wasted so much effort. And it's very rare that you can make a custom of something that the official toy isn't as good. Because, like, it's, it's rare. It's, it's difficult. Uh, then, of course, there is a simple post uh, reminding everybody that the Demon the Cat picture uh, still needs some more upvotes if you want to see a figure of her. Uh, there's, plenty of, uh, uh, there's plenty of followers on the Reddit now, so theoretically, if everybody just votes once and there's more than enough, well, you know, if you want to see a Demon the Cat figure... You know where to go. And now now you don't have an excuse that, oh, I can't scroll down that far because, like, this is up right near the top of the thing. Okay, and then here is a hedgehog made with raw meat. This is from an episode of Good Mythical Morning. I do not know what Good Mythical Morning is, but, oh my god, that looks horrifying. Um, okay, apparently it looks like uh, some ground beef or perhaps ground turkey because of the lighter pink color. Um... And it has, like, what looks like a black olive for a nose. And, um, maybe a sliced, um, uh, I don't know what that little round thing is. It could be a piece of onion. It could be a, 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 a little sliver of an olive. I'm not sure. But clearly all the spines are made out of, um, I want to say onion? Like, like, yeah, it's chopped onion. And they, uh, they, they, uh, they stuck them out to look like, to look like little hedgehog things like this is this is basically a hedgehog cake but it's a meatloaf it's a hedgehog meatloaf um i would be interested in seeing what this thing looks like after it's cooked and dear god i really hope they plan on cooking it because i feel like i'm getting food poisoning just looking at it this way but uh yeah that's um that's the story of what happened to this to this meat there's no story there it's just a picture of a hedgehog made of meat i don't know why i said that uh, so let's go back to Jimmy Jackson, who put up some more customs. Uh, look at that. It looks like a custom Funko Pop of Sans. Um, I don't know what you use to paint the face on, but maybe, 
maybe use a stencil next time or trace it out with a trace it out with a pencil so that you you don't go outside the lines um, then some work in progresses showing some dismantled toys uh, never knew what those dismantled toys are going to become so waiting for follow up on that uh, and then of course the the really cool um, uh, Ninja Turtles customs standing next to the Sands, and uh, I can't help but notice that those Ninja Turtles standing behind is he is he implying that he's going to take those newer Ninja Turtles figures in the back and customize them to have that old school Mirage comic look of the customs up front? Cause like that would be kind of a cool thing to see. I know they made Mirage comics versions of um, like. I think it was NECA. They made action figures of the Mirage comic Ninja Turtles. I hope it's Mirage comics, otherwise I'm going to sound like an idiot. But, yeah, like, to see that kind of color scheme and paint style on what's essentially the 87 Ninja Turtles modern toy interpretations, that could be pretty cool. That could be totally cool. And finally, let's end with a post by Social Media Menace. I fixed the Jack's Amy scaling. Yes, um, I figured this would actually be pretty easy. I'm imagining all that they did was remove a little bit of her thigh or maybe her shin. Uh, basically, just shorten her leg a slight amount, and there you go. Uh, as you can see, if you if you go nose to nose, now Amy is just a little bit shorter than Sonic, appearing to be in a much better scale. And uh, she's about the same size as the Resaurus figure, um, which is great. This is easily something that, this is something that I easily could do, but I, uh, after everything I went through to get my Amy Rose, I decided, like, I'll, I'll paint her a little white collar, and I'll fix her eyelash, but I'm not really gonna go knifing into this thing, because it was very difficult to get, and I don't know if I, if I screw it up, and I got so many other things to do. Like, I'm working on stuff right now, I'm just recording this while I wait for pink to dry, but, yeah, like... Uh, it's it's good to see how easy it is to just get Amy in a proper scale with everybody. Because now, now she looks much better. And is that a prototype Jazzwares Eggman in the background? What's the story behind that? Actually, given the designs of the elbows, I think that's the 2.5 inch Eggman made by Jax Pacific. But why is it, like, did you, did you wash the paint off? Or did you manage to get your hands on a prototype of the figure? Like, uh... I could have used a little bit of um, a little bit of context on that. So, social media menace. If you're seeing this video, post a comment. Like, what's the story behind that Dr. Eggman there? And uh, we will we will leave it at that. This is um, this has been another Wake Angel 2001 Reddit response video, and uh, we will catch you next time.